Hello, it's Sarah. I'll come down a little bit. And look, these are the Halloween boxes. Well, I'm making boxes. She's making quilt squares. So I made, these are the first two blocks. Um, Erica Joanne, she's doing quilt blocks. We did the floral series first, and now she's doing two at a time. I cannot wait for the three and four because she already did her Facebook Live and painted them, and one is an owl sitting on a moon. I can't wait because I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Anywho, um, I am painting these on these little canvases because I got these easels, and I just think they're adorable to put up like that on a little canvas and just have them sitting around. <gasps> Anywho, the other thing about these canvases is she's painting hers on watercolor paper and I did do that here we go these were my first uh, the first blocks in the series of the um, florals and I mean it these are actually kind of flat I haven't looked at these in a while but what I like about the canvas is it has the tooth canvas has a little bit more of a bumpy surface so like these wooden ones you can tell I don't know if you can actually it's all it's just it looks good either way honestly I mean it's cute but for me using her technique so you can kind of tell on the pumpkin here because I'm going to paint this today um, I'm trying to do the damp dry brush technique so uh, I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to do a second coat on my pumpkin, and I am not using the Josonia paint. This is Josonia paint. It's called a gouache. There's background colors, and then there's others, and I did, I ordered them. I freaking ordered them. I, I ordered them from her website because I want to do the technique, because it's paint and pencil is what it is, so we're going to do the sh some shading and highlighting with the, um, not, I almost said Faber-Castell, Prismacolor colored pencils. And I, I just feel like when I'm learning something, I need to use the tools that she's using because you get the same result as the teacher. It's I'm a visual artist. I like to do, anywho, I don't have all the colors, so I am still using, I'm using Americana um, Decawart and Burnt Orange. And I'm really not going into water. That's the difference. Normally when I base coat, I always tell you, you have water on the brush because it makes it smooth. In this case, I'm not. I'm just going, there's no water on my brush. And I'm going to load it. But the difference, if I just put this out, the naphthol crimson, this is a gouache compared to... Do you see the thickness? It's much thicker. What a gorgeous color red. Go Phillies, by the way. I was thinking of getting my nails done Phillies colors because they're just doing so good. Anywho, um, it's a different animal. It just is. And I want to be able to, to experience that. So what I'm doing then is I'm just loading my brush and then I'm wiping it off kind of on a, a dry paper towel so that there's not as much moisture and then just reloading the tip and I'll show you how it looks it's so cool so I put the paint down see and that's still way too much because I I want it to be like a dry brush it's all right it should be and then oops I went out of lines So see, I am really pulling as far down as I can. And I'm going to reload, but I really just want it to be... There we go. That's a little better. All of the, the messiness we clean up with the pencil. So, and I, that's too much paint. So at first, it's kind of nice to be able to just put the paint, put the color down and don't worry about being so neat. It's just different. It's different from what I'm used to. And I'm 
enjoying doing it differently. Now the only thing is, this is my the base coat and she wants that like antique look where it like kind of has the black showing through and because I'm such a neat painter I tend to cover all that black up <laughs> so I lose the vintagey look of it and I got it I just got to keep practicing because I keep going back to my old ways it's like exactly what I do if I don't stay centered and present in my program uh, I will fall back into my old thinking and my old habits so anywho it's getting better but then when we add the highlighting color oh man it gets fun it gets fun so tell me in the comments about what you're doing that's new are you learning anything new or you just keep doing what makes you feel at peace that's okay too I mean some people just crochet or you know you can't really change it up too much in some some art forms but um, put a little twist on it sometimes you know bring your own uh, flare right okay so I think he's base coated pretty good I still see some black which I'm really happy about now I'm gonna get out the um, I'm just using deep ochre but it's not it's the comparable color to whatever she has now these patterns are available I'll put it in the description box uh, jo Erica and they're um, they're printables, like they're downloadable patterns, and they're $2. So for $2, you can play around with a little Halloween design. It doesn't take more than like two hours to paint. It's a very quick and easy. Um, so I'm just throwing that out there. I have been enjoying them. They make me happy. I think her artwork is delightful. Look at this little boo, boo. Look at this big butt. She just, you know, it makes you giggle. It, it makes you happy. So, um, anyhow. Now, I'm going to highlight. And to do that, I, I have a dirty brush still. I'm just going to go into this ochre. The, the yellow ochre. And kind of, you know what? I just want to get it off the tip of my brush. And just start putting it in kind of like maybe down the front here different places. I'm going to go in a little better, maybe down here. And I'm I'm using the just the tip of my brush and I'm really trying to not be too heavy-handed with it and it's so hard for me because I'm a my automatic pilot painter wants to fill in every nook and cranny. So that's what makes it fun to kind of pull off uh, pull, get out of that. Oh my God, it's just so cool when you start adding the. And then she really has some nice bright parts on these teeth. I'm gonna do it here. And here. Yay! I like it. It just makes me happy. Maybe a little over here. Uh, so, hi Kirby. So I want to do a little... Because it, be, it would be dark kind of up against the cat, in my opinion. How about right here? There's a little smile. Oh my god. Maybe a little over here by this like smile area. See now I'm running I'm running out of paint, but that's what it is. And when with the gouache, 
the pigment is so much darker too so I don't know I just can't wait to get the paints so that I can really play around with the actual real uh, tools that she uses and see that if I get a better result I just keep going in and brightening it and then I think I'm not using the directions because I've painted a few of them but she'll go in with some warm white too to really pop it up then she uses this other yellow color I'm just using cadmium yellow to really brighten the yellow so because I don't have yeah I keep saying that <laughs> what she has I'm just using what looks similar to me to get and, it, and I mean it look it, it turned out fine you know I think it looks good I like it but I mean OMG this is just so fun it's fun it makes me happy and that is what life is all about and I know that there are things going on in the world that are just traumatic and evil and I don't want to sit and watch that on the TV all the time. I'm sorry. I don't. Um, I'm aware of it. And I pray for the, for love. I just pray for love. And it doesn't work because people are evil. But I can have peace right here in my studio. And that's what I choose to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go into, with a dirty brush, to do the star, I'm going to use this yellow. And just put some kind of on the tip. I can put a little bit and do just the brightest areas of. You can tell I'm, I actually go into like a meditative state. My brain stops thinking and I am literally present right in this moment with what I'm doing and it feels really good. You just let go of all the worries of the world and enjoy being present. I think that looks good. I'm not, I don't want to keep playing with it too much. But see, I barely have any paint. But the, um, the tooth of the substrate helps pull it off the bristles. See, I don't know if that looks better or not. I don't want to keep going, but it looks it's so fun. I can't tell you how much fun it is. I think I'm going to add a little warm white to that yellow because I just I don't see the brightness on the star. I think I have too much. That looks good. I'm going to put a little bit on the uh, his eyes. Um, just the yellow first and I'm going to clean all this up with uh, the black pencil so where the lines aren't they're getting covered over like just where I put black on the triangle there a little bit um, I can oh, I can clean all that up I don't want to come in too close because I always forget the camera's doing good but my plug is a little wonky. Maybe Santa will bring me a new camcorder. I like using a camcorder. A lot of people like to use um, their phones. Gosh, I can't get it. Anywho, I want to do the red because she uses the orange to shade the red. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I don't know if this one, I think I gave James, I used orange, to, anyway, 
I, I didn't realize that this that the scarf was scarlet um, anyway so I'm gonna go into this orange that I base coated the pumpkin with it's dark and it might be the wrong one I think I'm gonna use this the jack-o-lantern I could probably just use the um, the ochre but let's do this because it, it was really cool Again, I don't want a wet brush. I want it just a little on the tip and I'm going to put my brush down on the edge. So thin. It's so thin. It's just not the same at all as the gouache would be. It's going to take a few coats. It's so thin, this paint. But look how it highlights that. It really does the trick, that color. Put a little here. Let it dry because it's wet. You can really tell. And then there's probably some on the knot. Kind of go to the side. OMG, it just makes me so happy. The cat really doesn't get anything, and the glasses are going to be, or the mask is going to have glitter, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to come on and show you guys that technique. I will be back. Oh, look at his nose. I forgot about his nose. I'm going to highlight, or let me go in with the base color. I'm just trying to get the water off the brush. Let me make it a little darker. Um, I will come back to show you the moon with the owl. I can't wait. I'm, I keep waiting. She did it last Thursday. Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time because that's where I am. Erica goes on to Facebook Live and she paints the design. Um, she doesn't have the packets ready yet because the hour before that, she with her, um, I forget what they're called, like the, the subscribers that like are, they're paid subscribers, I guess. They do the drawing with her. So that's a different video, but they design the piece together. Well, she does it with them. Then they, after she's got the tracing, so she literally like just draws it on the piece. It's so amazing. And then, I, I don't, see that part but then when she's ready to paint it she comes on and she kind of just has this palette of so what what else is cool about it is she uses the same colors for all the pieces you know so you don't once you that's why I got the cup the paint because you know um, we're gonna use them for all the Halloween pieces so um, then she just starts, I think I want to do this, and I think I want to do that. And it was so cool because she did the background, like a little smoky background. See the blue? This one has a blue background, and this one has a purple background. Um, there's a gnome, and then the moon with the owl. Anywho, um, and then that week she'll put out the packet on her website. And it just takes, she's doing a lot right now, like... Um, she has shows that she goes to and paints and teaches classes at. Um, and so, you know, for her to get everything typed up and put it on the website just takes a while. So I'm just so impatient, but I'm just really waiting for um, this moon with the alleys. Just delightful. And I, I don't know. I think it really plays into the mysticism of, of gemstones and stuff. So I'm thinking that I could make some boxes and anywho. Um, so that's it, you guys. Give it a try. Try something new today. Um, you know, challenge yourself. Take a risk. You might like it. And if you don't, guess what? You're going to learn something along the way. So uh, that's it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and have a grateful day.